I love me some photo video locking monopods and I was so excited to finally be able to ditch my tripods, which were big, dumb, slow, and use these for most of the wedding. And this is a new Manfrotto one that I was excited to test because, you know, we've all been using the Manfrotto monopods that have the little feet because they're awesome and fun. But now they have this one that locks like this and it's not supposed to fall over, but at the wedding that I tested with it, it did. The wonderful Mackenzie Miller brought me in to fill in for a shoot in Brooklyn and uh, I was in the right place because I found a Tesla. This was the perfect opportunity to test out this monopod and uh, I had a very minimal kit. I just had a single light with me, the camera, my audio, and then this, this monopod, I didn't even bring a tripod. So it seemed fine, you know, I did my little tests. I just had a very small A7S Mark II with this single Prime 85. So the, the rig wasn't that heavy or big, but while setting up the light, turned away from my monopod at like mid height, it wasn't even top stick to adjust the light. And then the monopod fell over, didn't hit a guest, but almost did, made a ruckus. And uh, it was a little embarrassing, but no one died. Luckily, my lens had this hood on and probably hit, whoa, <laughs> that didn't happen, but probably just hit the ground, nothing broke. But still, that's like, that's it. That's rule number one. If you're a locking monopod, you lock, you don't fall over. And the main culprit is just the size of the base. It's very small compared to the other monopods that I've been using, the Surii ones. Uh, I just wish this was bigger. You know, I wish these legs were like maybe out to here. You don't have to get this carbon fiber version, but look how thin that is. That is like pencil thin. That's insane. And I didn't even have that big or heavy of a camera for all of my B-roll shots, the ones where, where I just press record and then like take my hands off, there would be at least three to four seconds of crazy wiggle before it would settle into a usable shot. So that happened for every single clip, which is kind of annoying to both myself and whoever's going to be editing this because they're like, Craig, what were you doing? Going like this before every shot? No, it was just this new monopod that frankly wasn't cutting it. It just wasn't smooth enough. Uh, when I was actually shooting the toasts, I had my hands up here and I just didn't feel like I could take my hands off the camera. I just felt like there were always some kind of wiggle. It's just not thick enough, not wide enough on the base. Um, just didn't cut it. So I'm actually going to be returning this uh, fluid head. And at 300, you know, it's a little more expensive than all the others. So it should have outperformed. Sadly, it didn't. Gonna take and keep this head, uh, but just put it on a Surii. Not this one. This one is another one that I've been testing. This one is very similar to the one that I recommend, Carbon Fur, <laughs> Carbon Fur. The photo video locking monopod that I recommend is by Surya. It's the P424S carbon fiber. It's fantastic. I feel safe enough to walk away from it. Um, it's what I use for probably 80 to 90% of the day. So check the description below. You'll find that exact link because people, I know it's confusing. It took me like a half an hour to figure out all of this stuff. There's so many different versions. So if you still have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help. And if you click and buy using the links in the description below on Amazon or b &H, I make a small commission, so that's very helpful. Thank you. It helps me buy coffee and editing candles. Until next time, thank you for watching. Peace out.